Greetings my fellow YouTube nurses, subscribers, and familia. Welcome to the new Medically Affiliated channel. Don't forget, I'm going to talk about something important. Imagine if you guys had a patient, you're a nurse, you're brand new, and this patient has a post-op fever. They come in with 102.6, it's not changing, and you become a detective at this point. You want to make sure and evaluate and assess what's going on with the patient. So, the five W's is what you want to look for for a patient. And I'll start off uh, with the way I remembered it was water, wind, walking, wound, and wonder drugs, okay? So I'll break down further a little bit later what, what they are. But let's start off with the vowels. Don't forget, remember the vowels? A-E-I-O-U. That's the way I remembered the five W's. It was so much easier. You learn in second grade, you can't forget it. So we'll start with the first vowel, which what you do for each word, you take off the W and start with the next letter of that word. So for example, the first one would be uh, uh, walking. So you take off the W and start off with A, which is the vowel, A-E-I-O-U. So A, walking, and you look for that. So you look at the patient, maybe check for their lower extremities, because when you're not walking, you're more susceptible to a DVT, which is deep vein thrombosis. That can lead to a blood clot, and uh, for some reason, it can lead to a fever. So what you want to do as a nurse detective, make sure you get a Doppler, look at the lower extremities, call the doctor, see what's going on. But before you do all that, you want to keep checking other uh, parts. So let's go to the next vowel. A was walking. The next one is E. So E is going to be for um, weird wonder drugs. So maybe the drugs are taken on, you want to evaluate, maybe contraindicated, maybe uh, it gave a synergic effect, which is uh, more of what it did for the medication. Look at the IV, see what kind of meds are on that could lead to an increased fever. And then the next vowel, which was we did AE, let's go to AEI. I is going to be when, and this is the most common reason why a patient after post-op gets a fever. When in the lungs, so it could be, um, you know, atelectasis, a breakdown of the lung, the collapse of the lung. It could also be um, pneumonia because atelectasis wasn't taken care of. So at that point, you tell the doctor, maybe check the lung sounds. The doctor will probably order, uh, you know, a uh, um, uh, chest x-ray, and the doctor will do all the diagnosis and then the whole nine yards. But you want to investigate, so you want to do that. And the next W you want to look for after we did AEI is O, which is the wound. You want to look at the wound where they did surgery, right? <laughs> so you want to look at the surgery, make sure how, it's, how it is, uh, and you look at it. And what I remembered in school was Rita. Not the girl Rita next door, but Rita, R-E-E-D-A. And that's redness, edema, ichamosis, which is bruising, D, which is drainage, if there's a lot of prevalent drainage, uh, if there's an odor to it. And the last one is approximation. Did it get bigger? How does it look? Uh, and if it's tender, irritated to the patient. So you want to look at all those things. So yeah, that's the breakdown of that one. So you want to look at that. That could be a leading a reason for infection. And the last vowel is, which we did, A, um, A E I O, um, U. And that's the last one, which is, what does U stand for? UTI, urinary tract infection. The patient, which is probably under surgery, had a fully catheter. It was indolent in there, uh, maybe susceptible to infection. The patient got an infection, which led to their high increased temperature rate. So you want to definitely look at that. And with the end up, you know, the patient or the nurse, I'm sorry, the nurse, which is who you are right there taking care of the patient, um, you'll be maybe asking the doctor for UNA, CNS, which is culture sensitivity, and then they'll start off with their, whatever antibiotics that um, they come back with. So, yeah, so you want to look at those five W's. So don't forget it, guys. I'll put it in the description on the bottom. Hopefully that helped for anybody who has worries about a post-op patient who's got a fever. So uh, you want to look at that. And uh, don't forget, I'll put it in the description. Remember the five W's, guys. And uh, my fellow YouTubes, don't forget, subscribe. Hit the new channel right here. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll keep doing these videos for you guys. All right, my YouTube subscribers, I'm out. See you guys.